They said that 2023 was going to be the year that home prices were going to go down. Well, towns in the Boston metro market must have missed that memo. Well, except for one town, that is. For this analysis, we looked at 16 towns that surrounded and included Boston. Essentially, the 95 belt to the south and then going up to Waltham and estimating the same circumference around, which kind of brings us to towns like Medford, Malden, and Revere into this analysis. Now, for this analysis, we also compared the stats for both single family and condo units and we combined them. We will take a look at the appreciation rates as well as the sales level decreases for each of the top and bottom three towns. Real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb and I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent and I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then no, I am here to help. All right, let's start with the top appreciating towns. Waltham, Massachusetts is the third best performing town in the Boston metro area. Now they had 403 single family and condo sales in 2023, which was a 20.2% decrease in sales levels from 2023's 505 closed units. The average sale price was up 7.5% with a 2023 average sales price of $790,000. This is compared to the average sales price in 2022, which was $735,000. Median price was up as well, however, just a little lower. The median price was up 5.3% with a $737,000 sales price in 2023. The second best performing town in the Boston metro market was Everett, Massachusetts. Everett had 117 sales in 2023, which was a 24.5% decrease in sales levels from the 155 units that sold in 2022. Prices were up 8.3% in 2023 with an average sales price of $544,000. This is compared to the average sale price in 2022 of $502,000. The median pricing gain was in the ballpark with a median price of $562,000, which is a 7.1% increase over 2022 levels. And the best performing market in the Boston metro market was Boston. Boston sales were down by 21% with 4,340 closed single family and condo units in 2023. This is compared to the 5,491 units that sold in 2022. The average sales price shot past the million dollar mark with an average sales price of 1.095 million in 2023. And this is compared to the $999,000 average sale price in 2022. The median sales price showed a little different of a picture with a median sales price of $755,000, which represented a 2.7% increase over the $735,000 median price in 2022. Now let's talk about the worst performers in the Boston metro market. And I can't say biggest losers because, well, two out of the three markets did not see any home price depreciation. The third worst performer, it was Cambridge, Massachusetts, which saw 600 single family and condo homes sell, which was a 14.9% decrease in sales activity from the 705 units that sold in 2022. The average sales price was up 0.7%. To a price of 1.333 million in 2023, and this compared to the average sales price of 1.324 million in 2022. Median pricing wasn't as favorable for Cambridge, with median pricing actually showing a decline in values of 2.4% at a $987,500 sales price. The second worst performer in the Boston metro market was Quincy, Massachusetts. Quincy saw 645 homes closed in 2023, which was a 8.8% decrease in sales activity as Quincy recorded 707 sales in 2022. The average 2023 sales price of $616,000 was 0.4% higher than the $614,000 sales price in 2022. Median pricing of $610,000 in 2023 showed a little bit more favorable picture with prices up 2.9%. And that leads us to the worst performing market and the only market that saw home prices go down in the Boston metro market for 2023. Dedham had 229 single family and condo homes closed, which represented a 25.4% decrease in sales activity from the 2022 levels of 307 units sold. The average sales price was down a whopping 0.5% in 2023 with an average sales price of $736,000. And this is compared to the 2022 average sales price of $739,000. Again, median pricing shows a little bit different of a picture. The $675,000 median price represented a 3.1% increase in median pricing year over year. If you're going by median pricing, then that would mean two towns actually saw home prices go down with Cambridge 
at the 2.4% that we mentioned just a couple moments ago, and Medford, which saw a median price go down by 0.3%. It was a great year for real estate in the Boston metro market. You could say, well, that the Massachusetts market as a whole really had a great year. Curious about what's going on in the north of Boston area or south of Boston area or maybe even Metro West markets in 2023. Well, then be on the lookout for those videos. You should also check out my 2024 real estate market conditions video as well and possibly the 2024 predictions video. As always, I truly appreciate you keeping me in mind should you or anyone you know be thinking about buying or selling a home in 2024. And let me know if you have any questions, then drop me a line in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me as all my contact information is in the description below. Until next time.